Good afternoon and welcome back to Coach Grip. Today we'll be doing another three basic mistakes to avoid while playing a cover drive. Zen will be demonstrating and I'll be explaining. Please also subscribe to our channel if you like this video. The first area we'll be looking at is the stride. As a cricketer, or as a batsman particularly, you do not want to have a stride that is too big because you're going to struggle to get your head and weight into the ball and that's going to cause problems by having to reach for the ball because it's playing in front of your eyes and also you're going to lose some power because all of your power is not over the bottom of your base. For this part we're going to look at the hand line through the ball. You do not want your hands to open up which is otherwise known as inside out because you're losing power as you strike on the ball. The bat face is opening up to the ball meaning that less surface area of the bat is going to make contact with the ball and this gives a greater chance for an outside edge. At the same time, you do not want to close your hands off by going too far across your body because this creates another area where the leading edge of the bat comes towards the ball and you can either hit it up or hit it straight back to the bowler. But for both of these, we are not utilizing our power to the fullest. What you want is you want your hands going straight through the line of the ball with the full face of the bat all the way to where you want to hit the ball, basically making a line with your whole body with your hands at the end of it. The final area we're going to look at is making sure that when you make contact with the ball you do not pull your hands up in the shot. As the swing is then stunted and we are losing power because we are not hitting through the ball anymore. We are hitting into the ball and then the hands are coming up with it. What you want to do is as you make contact with the ball you want your hands to throw forward making sure that you get a full extension through the ball. This will help give us more power and make sure that the bat stays in that line all the way to the end. As you can see, Zenin keeps his figure 9 shape with a nice high elbow up until the point where he'd make contact with the ball and then he throws his hands forward off that to maximize his power and to try and get the most out of the shot. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed. Please follow us on all social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We also have our site as I mentioned earlier. Please go look at that and see if you'd be interested in subscribing. For this, if we can get a couple of these points across and make them work well, it would help us maximize our potential with the drive, which is what we want to do. As, as a cricketer, especially as a senior cricketer these days, 60% of your runs will be scored off the front foot, if not more.